Hello friends, this is Normal here for Technique and in this video we are going to share some of the tips and tricks you can try out on the new ASUS Zenfone 3. So Zenfone 3 was announced in India a couple of weeks back and this comes with Android 6.0 Marshmallow and we have this latest version of the Zen UI. So Zen UI 3.0 was announced by ASUS along with the release of uh, uh, the Zenfone 3 and this comes with a lot of added features when compared to the previous versions. So we'll talk about some of the features, the tips and tricks you can try out on this device. We have the Zen UI 3.0. So first up, uh, let's see the home screen. So if you have, a, uh, if you just press and hold the home screen, we have these options to manage the home screen. So we have apps and widgets, so that's self-explanatory. We have the option to edit the home screen. So if you click here, we have these options to edit the pages. So if you have multiple home screen pages, you can edit them, you can change the icon size so you can change the icon alignment you can add a scroll effects then uh, we have this option to change the font size icon label so if you want a different color icon label you can change it with uh, this option then you can also select the font so there are lots of added fonts here uh, and you can also download additional fonts which you want uh, you can download them so that's another useful option uh, to customize the fonts and icons so that's a pretty good option available for the home screen uh, uh, in uh, the Zen UI now if you go back again now we have this wallpaper again self-explanatory we have icon packs so uh, we have you can uh, download additional icon packs from our play store and uh, say for example we have installed this uh, uh, material icon pack so just uh, apply this and you can uh, see that uh, it will go to the new icon so similarly you can uh, download additional icons uh, from using this uh, get mode uh, uh, link available here so that's another useful option then uh, we have this uh, uh, Zen UI theme, so uh, you can customize uh, different uh, options using this theme. Uh, there are lots of themes available. You can download free themes. There are paid theme so just uh, create uh, uh, I mean you can just download uh, using uh, 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 the pay button if it's free you can download it free so theme manager allows you to download additional themes so there are lots of themes available now if you go back on uh, this uh, page we have this option to lock apps so this is a pretty handy option now uh, if you want to lock apps so just uh, enter a password so we're just uh, entering a default password and uh, uh, we have this uh, uh, forgot password uh, option in case I just want uh, a Google account. So now uh, we have set up account so we can just uh, see that uh, say for example we are just going to lock and to do benchmark. We are going to lock a camera and Chrome. So we have done. So now we have locked our three apps. So you can see here there is an icon across uh, uh, the camera and the Chrome app. So now let's uh, see. You can uh, see the icon here. Just click here and you lost the password. So just click uh, the password and you can see now it unlocks the uh, app. So this is uh, the app lock uh, option available. So you can uh, just, just lock, select the apps by entering the password and then selecting the apps uh, which you want to lock. And uh, you can unlock it uh, anytime uh, you can see the locked apps. So, so this is how it's done. So now uh, we have unlocked all the apps. Now another option is the preferences. So uh, we can uh, see there is home screen and uh, folder preferences. There is app lock preferences. Uh, unread account badge. So a lot of uh, options are there. You can just go through these options. So home screen layout. You can uh, size set the grid size. So uh, n number of options are there. You can see three by three, five by five, uh, four by four. A lot of uh, uh, combinations you can try. You can uh, see uh, grid size of all app screen also can be changed. Uh, four by four, five by four. So uh, n number of options are available here. So that's something uh, really useful uh, if you want to get a customized look uh, for your Zen UI. Now system settings that's again uh, self explanatory so that was the home screen settings so uh, if you want to customize the Zen UI you get a lot of features and tools uh, so you need to just go through these uh, options uh, from the home screen just press and hold and you get a lot of options here. Now if you just swipe down uh, the notification panel you have these quick toggles so some of the toggles are uh, self explanatory one is uh, the power and boost so once you click here it will uh, improve the uh, I mean release some of the RAM uh, used by uh, the system and that is something useful if you want to recover some of uh, the RAM then we have auto start manager blue blue light filter hotspot Bluetooth and uh, the normal set of options 100 UI is also included now if you want to edit it if you uh, just go to this button and uh, we have this option to edit you can see first four options are available here then uh, you can customize which all options you want just um, drag uh, and uh, rearrange the icons and then click the save button so that will uh, save uh, uh, the settings available now let's go to the settings panel uh, 
here we have a lot of added features so one is the asus cover so if you're using a cover uh, the, the official asus accessory you have uh, some options uh, here so if, if at all you're using you can come back here and uh, see what all uh, information has to, be, has to be shown when you're using the cover then uh, we have this zen motion so that's one useful option uh, we have a uh, touch gestures so you can see double tap to uh, turn off the screen double tap to wake swipe uh, up to wake up the screen then uh, we have suspend mode uh, w to launch an app s uh, e c z and uh, v so these are options available say for example if you want to uh, open uh, the camera so just uh, open it so you can see here uh, s to uh, launch an app so we'll just uh, show you so now you can uh, see uh, we have just launched the camera app so that's how uh, this uh, works so that's the touch gestures available so that's uh, zen motion uh, so similarly there is motion gestures so you have flip turn uh, the device over hand uh, hands up uh, that hold the phone in portrait mode and lift to touch the ear so these are some of the motion gestures available then one handed uh, mode uh, this is available in most of the uh, chinese oems uh, we have seen and you can uh, quick trigger this option so we'll just see you can double tap on the home screen to activate the one handed mode so double tap and you can see one handed mode in action so that's the useful mode if you feel the 5.2 inches screen size is uh, bigger for you so you can just uh, maximize it uh, and uh, use the, uh, the normal mode uh, then uh, we have this option customize settings you use customize settings so if you're using a uh, gloves you can get the gloves mode here then some quick settings uh, which you can uh, uh, you can use for the recent apps key and uh, quick settings options are also included here then as i said before themes are there then lock screen location and other options are the, the default set of options available then there is easy mode so here you can see easy mode provides a friendly yet uh, uh, useful interface uh, which provides simple layout you can see this is the easy layout uh, just the basic set of options like phone contacts weather clock camera gallery and uh, the all apps the list is also pretty simple uh, so this is particularly useful for elderly people who are a bit confused with the ui so this is one uh, useful option then uh, we also have the kids mode so once you turn down the kids mode you can uh, see uh, uh, the kids mode in action again uh, see you can set a, uh, a parental p control pin and uh, what happens is you can set uh, apps uh, which you want uh, uh, to be used by your kid when you're giving handing over the phone to uh, uh, the kid and uh, you can uh, set some security questions and uh, what happens is when uh, when you uh, when you give this phone only the selected apps will be available uh, in the kids mode and uh, your kids can't access other apps so, so uh, it will not mess up with your work and other options only uh, apps say for example games or some uh, uh, streaming sites like a uh, youtube app uh, can be available here rest all can be disabled so that's uh, another useful option in the kids mode so kids mode is nothing new it's available in a lot of phones so here also it comes uh, so that's another useful tool uh, for the settings uh, in uh, the zen ui so uh, in now let's go to the app drawer so we have talked about the home screen uh, the notification panel and also the settings now if you go to the app drawer uh, we have uh, uh, you can see this is the app drawer and here if you click here uh, this uh, option you can see if the view mode so that uh, that can be uh, configured so right now it's customized one you can uh, see the view mode as all of the all apps downloaded apps are the frequently used apps so based on how we want the apps to appear we can uh, do it from here then uh, if you click the three dots here uh, we have this smart folder so what the smart folder does is uh, it will uh, rearrange all the uh, installed apps into groups say for example we we'll just show you, you can see here now all the apps are uh, arranged into groups say for example business communication games uh, google media and video uh, and uh, music uh, personalization photography so this is smart arrange so this is pretty good because uh, instead of searching for app i can just search uh, for the particular app in the particular category and easily access them so again uh, cancel it in time and come back to the normal mode then uh, we have this grid size uninstall and disable apps lock apps you can even hide apps lock apps we already talked about hide apps is another useful feature uh, you, you don't want to lock the apps but you just want to hide them when you're giving the phone to somebody else so you can just hide the apps just click here and uh, select the apps which you want to hide and click done now uh, that apps will be hidden and unless you unhide them it will be still available as hidden so that's another useful feature because uh, when you're giving the phone to somebody else uh, you just want to disable uh, uh, some apps you can do that as well then uh, in the preferences as i said before there are lots of options in the home screen and customization of the icons you can change the icon size and other options are also included 
Now there is another useful tool in uh, the Zen UI 3.0 that's a mobile manager. So you can see here the mobile manager does a scan uh, of your phone and uh, gives you the better option to optimize it. So this is available in most of the Chinese OEMs so, so this comes to Zen UI as well. So you can see data usage is there. You can get a data usage of each apps uh, uh, which all uh, apps are taking up uh, the data this month or uh, today and you can set a mobile data limit uh, so that uh, you won't uh, go beyond that limit and uh, incur additional cost for the data then there is power saver mode uh, you can uh, see there is performance mode normal mode power saving mode super power saving mode and then you have this customized mode so what happens in customized mode is that uh, you can uh, uh, set what all preferences you want uh, uh, the brightness the network all those things can be customized so that's another useful option uh, the customized mode and uh, you can uh, switch uh, by a smart switch is there that means uh, you can uh, switch to different power saving modes uh, based on a conditions or based on shade that means say for example if you are not using the phone uh, during night you can just uh, go to the power saving mode or super power saving mode and you can schedule that so that's another useful option available in the power saving mode then uh, the boost option uh, you can uh, see uh, boosting means I will uh, clear all the apps uh, running in the background and uh, um, I mean uh, release the memory then uh, we have this notification access clean up uh, junk files can be cleaned up uh, so you can uh, clean up uh, the data I mean the space uh, utilized by by some of the apps, um, uh, unnecessary apps uh, which are uh, taking up the uh, storage can be uh, uh, uninstalled from here. Then uh, we have the privacy and settings and the permission. So these are the options available in the mobile manager. So all in all we would say the Zen UI comes with lots of added features. There are lots of uh, options to explore. So if you have the Zenfone uh, 3 with you, you can uh, try out these options. So this will be available in Zenfone 3, Zenfone 3 Deluxe, Zenfone 3 uh, Laser and even the Zenfone 3 Ultra. So all these uh, phones will have this option, the Zen UI 3.0. So do try out these options. They are really useful. They come with a lot of added features as well. So that's all guys with the Zen UI uh, 3.0 tips and tricks and also the new features available. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.